Hey guys, welcome to the 100th episode of The Rundown. On this episode, we discuss CNO's essay contests. SMEs are needed for advancement exams. The Navy wants you to support the Navy Marine Corps Relief Society. And a familiar face pays a visit to The Rundown. Chief of Naval Operations, Alma Richardson, has announced a contest asking sailors to think about how our naval history helps shape our Navy today. The contest is called CNO's 2017 Naval History Essay, which is designed to encourage dialogue among sailors on naval history and our naval future. Examples for writing may include how the Navy has projected power differently across time, or how the courage and insight from Navy leaders in the past still applies today. Additional examples for topics can be found on the Navy History and Heritage Command website. The contest is open to sailors and civilians, as everyone can contribute different ideas that can help better the Navy. Also, there is a cash prize for winners. $5,000 for first place, $2,500 for second, and $1,500 for third. Those interested in the contest can read more details in NAVADMIN 024-17. The time has come for sailors to help support the Navy and Marine Corps Relief Society. The Navy is asking commands to conduct an active duty fund drive to help provide for sailors and Marines in need. Proceeds go to those facing financial challenges, those who suffer loss from natural disasters, and those dealing with family emergencies. Over 60,000 sailors and Marines contributed last year, raising over $45 million for the NMCRS. The campaign's theme this year is by our own, for our own. Find more details in NAVADMIN 052-17. The Navy is seeking E-7 through E-9 sailors to serve as subject matter experts for upcoming advancement examination readiness reviews. SMEs selected will be responsible for shaping the E-4 through E-7 rating exams for future sailors. AERRs range from one to two weeks and exam readiness reviews are held throughout the year. Specific rating reviews are held on an annual basis. All active duty, FTS, and reserve sailors are encouraged to apply. If interested, you can read NAVADMIN 058-17 and by checking out the link to the NKO website below. This is the 100th episode of The Rundown. It began in early 2015 and each week has brought sailors the latest and most important personal news affecting the fleet. We truly appreciate all who watch the series and hope it benefits you and your command by bringing news from CMP directly to the sailor. This week, we brought back a familiar face to The Rundown Chief Mass Communication Specialist, Fabrizio. Hey, thanks for having me on, MC2. Thanks for being on. He would like to discuss a few things from CNO's Public Affairs Office with sailors. Over to you, Chief. Thanks, MC2. I was privileged to be a part of the team that originally founded the Rundown about two years ago, and it started with a very simple goal of talking plainly to sailors about personnel policies. Now I'm over on CNO's staff, and we're trying to meet that same goal of clear communication with a slightly different tool, and that's soundings. Soundings is the official podcast of the CNO. We release one episode each week where we sit down with a senior leader, CNO, Vice CNO, MCPON, and CMP, and that episode's coming out next week. And it can sometimes feel a little bit broad, but it often discusses and focuses on issues such as leadership, character, and the Navy's mission, and these are things every sailor should be interested in. Now you can find CNO's podcast on navy.mil slash CNO. It's available on SoundCloud and iTunes. MC2, congratulations again on 100 episodes. You're doing an absolutely great job with the rundown, and I'm glad it's still benefiting sailors out in the fleet with the latest personnel policies, news, and information. Thank you so much, Chief. And thank you all for watching. For any questions, you can send us a message at usnpeople.fct and navy.mil. For the Chief Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. See you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>